Woo! Glad to be back in the studio because riding those bikes and doing my own stunts was pretty tiring. But you know what's not tiring? Bringing you a roundup of the latest details from Angular V18. Let's go. First up, you can now try out the optional zones experience in Angular. We have two cool changes for you to check out hybrid change detection, and an experimental API to disable zones in your applications. But don't worry, we're doing optional zones, so you can still use the latest features of Angular V18 with your zones-based application because you know that we love being backwards compatible. Now, here are a few more zones-related updates that you can enjoy. Event coalescing will be on by default for new zone-based apps. Also, apps using zoneless change detection won't have to worry about down-leveled async await making bundles smaller and having better debugging. The Angular CDK and Angular Material both have zoneless support enabled. Now, there's more to come, so stay up to date here on YouTube and the Angular blog at blog.angular.dev. Speaking of Angular.dev, it's now the official home for Angular developers. You all have been telling us how much you like what we've done with the site and we appreciate it, but we're still working to improve it. So if you have any feedback, be sure to let us know in the comments and on GitHub. All right, it's graduation time. And please join me in congratulating the following APIs on their promotion to stable. And remember, please hold your applause until all the graduates have been called. Material three, deferrable views, built-in control flow. Oh, you are welcome. Congratulations, you have all worked so hard and you're ready for that big development world out there. All right, friends, let's turn our attention over to the Angular server side story for a few more cool updates. We've added hydration support to I-18 in blocks as a developer preview. Thanks to the Chrome Aurora team for the amazing collaboration on this new feature. Also, another great collaboration is the one that we have going on with the Wiz team here at Google. As a result, we have the integration of event dispatch support for client hydration. Now user events will be captured and replayed after hydration has been completed. This is available now as a developer preview. We've also worked to improve the debugging experience with updates to Angular DevTools that now support hydration. Oh, and speaking of support and hydration, Angular Material and the CDK components are now fully hydration compatible. If you tuned in to our full developer event, you witnessed Jessica Janik from the Angular team unexpectedly intercept our broadcast to share that the team is working on partial hydration in Angular apps. Now, this is a technique that allows you to hydrate your apps incrementally after server-side rendering. So definitely stay tuned because more details are coming in the future. Well, it's that time again where I try to tell you about how many cool updates are awaiting you in V18, but I do it while I'm running out of time. So here goes. NG content now accepts default content as a fallback. Form control, form group, and form array classes from forms now expose a property called events, which allows you to subscribe to a stream of events for the form control. There's now support for TypeScript 5.4, and to enable higher flexibility when dealing with redirects in Angular V18, redirect to now accepts a function which returns a string. If you'd like to know more about what was included in this release, check out our post on blog.angular.dev and be sure to check out the Angular V18 release event. Also check out these blank cards. There's nothing on here. <laughs> All right, all right. That's enough for me for right now, but never enough Angular for you. So be sure to NG update. And as always, friends, go build great apps. See you the next time. <laughs>